Hi there, my name is Ben Eubanks. I'm an HR professional here in Huntsville, Alabama. I want to take a minute to talk about some of the things that I've learned over time as far as recruiting, the things that I'm looking for, the things that I want to see out of my candidates that uh, really help them to stand out above the crowd. Because, uh, I mean, it's, it's amazing to me to see that with all the advice out there, with all the, the support out there, the tools, the, the things that you can quickly find answers to, that you still uh, see people that come in there without preparation, without um, things that, that are really going to help them stand out. Anyway, so <clears throat> three quick things today. just want to talk through and tell you things that I look for, things that I know other recruiters look for that would serve you well to think about. So the first one is enthusiasm. Be excited. Be happy. Be glad to be there. If you're not, it's easy to tell, and it's going to quickly put you at the bottom of the list. I had people come in to interview with me before that that were just kind of, mm, you know, ho oh, hum, whatever, just another job interview, and they didn't stand out. They don't look like they're interested in the job. And if they're not interested in the job now, I'm not certain. We're certainly not going to hire them because what's it going to be like after they get in the door? They're not going to be more interested than they are at that exact point. So. Be interested, be enthusiastic, be engaged and excited about it, or you know, don't show up at all. The second one that I would tell you about is to have questions ready. This is a huge decision. You might not think so, but you are dedicating your life, your work, your time to a company for, you know, hopefully a couple of years. And that's not a small thing. So when I get to the end of the interview and I say, hey, do you have any questions for me? And someone's like, no, I don't have any questions. That kind of shocks me because I know how big of a decision this is. Everyone should have questions ready. Even if I do a great job and share with you things through the interview, there are still things you can ask. One of my favorite questions to ask when I'm interviewing for a position is, what differentiates someone who's good at this job from someone who's great at this job? That really helps to get to the heart of, I want to do this well. I don't want to just meet the expectations. I want to exceed them. And it gets them a a little picture into the kind of person you are. Again, it leads back to that whole enthusiasm thing. You have to be a little bit excited about it. You have to be be able to convey that in a way that makes them think, wow, they're, they're really already looking for how they can do things better than what we're expecting this person to do. And the last thing that I would say is you really need to be able to think about the experience you have and talk about that, translate that in a way that makes sense for the company. Um, if they're asking you questions about, tell me about a time you, you had to solve a problem, you should have two or three ideas of problems you've already solved in the past, how that worked, what you did, what the final result was, and be able to share that easily. And no one expects you to memorize every single thing and be able to answer every question. You shouldn't also take five minutes to think about it. You know, that is a little awkward. But... We understand that you need to collect your thoughts, think through an answer, and and take a second to think about it. So just have some ideas in your head already. Don't walk in there blind. Don't walk in there with the just knowing the canned list your greatest strengths or tell me your weakness because those questions, while they're asked often, are not good questions as far as the interview goes because they don't tell me how good you are at this job. If you're interviewing for an admin job and someone says, hey, tell me about a time that you had to handle an irate customer on the phone. Well, that's a good example of something because you typically will handle something like that in that position. So good recruiters will ask you questions that are based around what the position requirements are. But in the event that you don't have a good person actually recruiting or asking you questions, it does happen. Make sure that when you answer their questions, you are trying to frame it in a way that makes sense for the job. You're trying to answer it in a way that they can see you sitting in that position doing that work based on the answers you're giving them. Visualization is a pretty powerful thing. Anyway, those are just a couple tips that I have for you today. Good luck in your job search. If you ever have questions or anything else that I can help with, my email address is ben at upstarthr.com. Thanks. Have a great day.